happy friday to you and everyone welcome to my channel my name is christiana and every friday we summarize the rhapsody of reality is a daily devotion of full of god's word and faith and is a book by reverend dr chris Oyakilome. monday the 14th says rule by love Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2 These are things that could affect a Christian, those hasn't faced with sickness or diseases, because Jesus started equating that naughty shall by any means haunt you in Luke chapter 10 verse 19. But the things that are generous to the Christian, dangerous to the Christian, are anger, bitterness, fear, unbelief, it is he. It does not want such negative things in your heart, he says in Hebrew chapter 12, verse 15. Looking diligent, let any man fear of the grace of God, let any root of the bitterness spring up trouble you, and thereby means by defying. The Christian is a partaker of a divine nature, he has a life and nature of God, and God loves and righteousness. This is, this is what makes it a great concern when you find Christian who does not work in love. In Luke chapter 6, verse 27, Jesus says, But I said unto you, Who here love your enemy, do good to them which hate you. And in the 20, 36, 35 verse, and in the 35 verse, he said, related to the some things, that love ye your enemy and do good. Hallelujah. Love triumph, love rules. When you walk in love, you are a master, he says. Bless them that cost you and pray for them that desperately use you. Luke chapter 6, verse 28. It doesn't matter what they have said about you or against you. You are not bothered. Let love rule. You remain generous, kind, and lovely like your heavenly father, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's say the prayer. Dear Father, thank you for your liquid and everlasting love poured out on us. Now you have imparted to me the character of love to bless, impart my word, wit, and love's signs and rules in my heart today and always in Jesus' name. Amen. Tuesday, the 15th of March, together as one. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 to 6. That God. who is rich in mercy god wants us to catch this message and take it to the end of the head he said ye that we are dead in trespass and sin as be quickened that he is made alive together with christ in all way when jesus was on the cross he were united with him in death he died as us on the cross he was rose up as us in the grave hallelujah when he was buried we were buried with him when god raised him back we were raised together with him we have been raised to up together to sit together with him in in heavenly places he has become the head of the body together we are now christ because we die in him we bury in him and we raise up together with him the Bible says, He that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. We are joined held with him. Romans chapter 8, verse 17. We are together as one. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 22 to 23. Glory to God. And he has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head of all things. To the church which is the body the fullness of him that has filled in all things he is one who fed everything Ephesians chapter 4 verse 10 yet his fullness is in church is which is his body we are his completeness we are complete in him for he him do all the fullness of god's head bodily and ye are complete in him which is the head of all principalities and power Colossians chapter 2 verse 9 to 10 praise the lord i have been baptized into the body of christ brought into the union with divinity with christ we raise up the dead i was raised up together with him now that he is seated in the throne i am seated together with him in place of dominion glory and authority blessed be god wednesday the sustained his work and his name 
Psalm 138, verse 2, the CJB translation. God revealed himself this power and his glory and his name is introduced himself to Moses as Jehovah. Jehovah is the Latin name. Let's have a quick review of several Jehovah names revealed to Israel at difficult occasion which the children of Israel got to Marshall. As the journey through the wilderness, the water of Marshall was bitter. Then Moses God sweeter the water for them to drink and said, I bless your bread and your water and i will put on it any of the diseases that i put on the egyptians because i am jehovah rapha exodus chapter 20, 23 verse 25 or 15 to 26 as you journey on amalek come up against them and with god's help joshua completed the comfort amalek and celebrate the victory moses bowed before the lord said jehovah nisi the Lord, our banner. Exodus chapter 17, verse 13, verse 15. The journey continued, and God said to the children of Israel, In all your great victory, you must remember me and worship me, because I am Jehovah Mekeshka, the Lord that sacrifice. Exodus chapter 31, verse 7, 13. And Leviticus chapter 20, verse 8. Then it came to Gideon. He is walking in the field, and suddenly a hand appeared to him, ministered to him, and Gideon is twenty. He bowed his knee, built an altar, and said, Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is peace. Judges chapter 6, verse 24. So on and so on. Let's go further. The last revelation of our Old Testament force, Osha in Emmanuel. God with us in the birth of Christ as revealed by the prophet Esau. The Bible says he was becoming flesh and dwelt among us and he was given the name Jesus. That is the greatest of all. All the previous revelation and the name of the Father, the name and perpetuation also above which he word and living word is magnified. For he has magnified the word over all his name. Everything in heaven and on earth under and under respond to the name. That is the name of the Godhead, the name that is above every name. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. Bless be God. Let's say the confession. What a blessing it is to know that God has given us the name that is above every name. By living by the name of Jesus, I live in and by the power of the name, that name expressed your righteousness walking in victory and glory i am success because the name of jesus is name upon me hallelujah welcome to thursday if you're still watching me i want to say a big thank you to you and to my subscribers and friends i appreciate you and if you love what you see in this platform please kindly subscribe put the bell to hold that when we upload videos you will notify and remember we are summarizing this book there's a link under these videos or the playlist that we have set for you go to that link is a facebook i post the rapture of reality there every day that will bless your life that many things that i can bring here because of time Thursday says christ your righteousness first corinthians chapter 1 verse 13 when we just read one of, is one of the most powerful true revelation of us in the word of god it is so huge christ has made unto us righteousness the righteousness is the righteousness of jesus christ you didn't hand it you were born with it you were born into christ sometime people some sometime power something powerful that the righteousness of god does in and for you is it makes you master Righteousness control give you dominion in life and over circumstances. The prophet Esau revealed this when it says in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against thee in judgment shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and his righteousness is in me, said the Lord. Your righteousness is the Lord. This is what 
Paul prefer in the Philippians chapter 3 verse 9 when it said and be found in him not having his own righteousness which is in the law but that which is the true the faith of Christ the righteousness which is the God by faith thank God for the righteousness of Jesus 5 verse 17 declared for if by one man offered the dream by one much more they which receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign by one Jesus Christ you have been justified freely in Christ Jesus with the, with his life and nature of righteousness in your spirit now you can boldly fellowship with him in love with that sense of guilt commuter of inferior in Jesus name Let's be God. I have been justified fully in Christ Jesus with his life and nature of righteousness in my spirit. Thank you, Father, for the victorious scripture of Jesus. True, I have been made righteous through the gift of righteousness that I have received. I work in dominion, reign over circumstances. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amazing friends, thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Those of you who did it, I appreciate you. I didn't take you for granted. May God bless you. And I will see you by the grace of God on Friday next week. Remain blessed. Keep your faith and guide yourself with all diligences for Bible sake, for heart of it and the issue of life. I will see you next time. Enjoy our videos that are coming the week and keep praying for this channel. God bless you. Bye-bye.